Hi there, my name is Jesse Josh. Welcome to Literature in English class. And so far, we've treated a lot. We've come so far um, as regards you know literature in English. We've talked about we talked about literature. Its introduction. We did an overview of what literature was or is. Um, we talked about the forms of literature. We talked about um, types of literature or genres of literature. We talked about poetry its types and its features. We talked about prose, its types and its features. We talked about drama, its types and its features. We also talked about um, the figures of speech, which um, we've treated about, we treated a, a lot of them, right? And um, in one of the previous classes, we treated metaphor as um, ex extensively as a figure of speech because it's really much more than we actually think or know about. So we treated metaphor and the types of metaphor, and we talked about talked about the difference between um, simile, um, metaphor, and analogy. Okay, so um, this is all to tell you that you have missed a lot if you are just joining us here, and it would be advisable and you know to for you to go back and watch the previous videos so that you can be caught up to speed with what we are doing. The only way to know what we are doing or to fully understand what we what we are doing now or where we are what we are what we are where we are going to is to know where we are coming from. Okay? So please go back, watch the videos, leave your comments, your and your questions. They are all very welcome. Okay. Um, having exhausted um, all the things we have to do on you know figures of speech and literary devices yeah we also make sure we also talk we also talked about the difference between figures of speech and literary de devices which have been you know has, has generated a lot of controversy as to whether they are the same thing or not we talked about literature literary devices devices and figures of speech right and we, we talked about a few of the figures of speech and you know um, we dealt with it so um, Having come so far in literature, we are now going to, you know, analyze texts. Um, the Wyek the Wyek or Jam syllabus has a way of um, recommending particular texts um, across the genres of literature for a specific number of years. All right, so um, for I think it's about ten years. So for ten or five five to ten years, there is a specific text that students in secondary school, um, you know work with right to work on their literary devices to analyze basically and to critique okay so um between from now till 2025 there's a literary tech there are some there are a couple of literary texts that um we'll be dealing with uh, or that that work and jam and neko has recommended from now to 2025 for the analysis by students and which is going to be the exam um, the focus for the exams as regards literature so we're going to be looking at um, we're going to be um, reviewing this text, we are going to be analyzing this text, right? Okay. Um, when it comes to analyzing, what are we talking about? We are talking about, you know, um, spotting out the literary devices used. We are talking about um, spotting out the characterization, the characters and characterization. We are talking about the plot. You know, we are going to talk about this, the, the um, settings, right? We're going to talk about the themes. We're going to talk about the style of writing of that particular work of literature. Okay, we're going to talk about the authors of those work of the authors or the playwrights, as the case may be. So that's basically what analyzing or reviewing a literature text is all about. It's not just going to be literature text. We're going to also review poems. All right, we're going to review poems, which is what we'll be doing from now onwards okay so i want to tell you um, before we go forward or moving on from here that this review or this analysis will not suffice for um, will not suffice um, for um, reading the books you have to read the books all right um, they will not this analysis cannot substitute for reading the books no it will not it will not in fact this analysis is just you know um, it's going to make more sense to you if only you have read the book, okay? Um, you cannot understand this analysis. Trying to use this analysis as, a, um, as the center or the framework of your study will not help you so much. You won't go so far in um, just restricting yourself to this summary or, this ana or the analysis of, this, of the various texts that we're, going to be, that we're going to be treating, okay? So you have to have read the books. Um, we have drama, prose, and the poems. So you have to have read them, and then this analysis will make more sense to you, okay? 
All right. So, um, basically, um, WIAC and JAM, the WIAC, JAM, and NECO syllabus has um, a way they specify this text. So, we have African drama, non-African drama. We have African prose, non-African prose. We have poetry, right? I think the poetry is also classified into Africa and non-African poetry. Then we have one um, drama, um, one English drama. Right, so that's usually, it's usually from the England, written by English poets or English authors, right? So we have, for, for, for this um, session, we're going to be treating William Shakespeare's um, A Midnight Summer Dream. It's a drama, right? So basically that's it. So we have African drama, two African dramas, non, and two non-African dramas, two African prose, and two non-African prose. Then same goes for the poetry, right? So that is how we are going to be analyzing, or it's in that order we are going to be analyzing this literary text. Okay, all right. So um, <clears throat> moving on, we're going to be talking about African drama. Now, now let me just give you what we're going. We're, we're starting off with the drama text first, or the journal of literature called drama. We're starting off with those texts. So we have African drama, and the, under the African drama, we have two works. Two books, Lion and the Jewel, and Let Me Die Alone. Lion and the Jewel, and Let Me Die Alone. Then for the non-African drama, we have Look Back in Anger and Fences. Look Back in Anger and Fences. So we're going to treat these ones, and then we'll move to um, analyzing or, you know, criticizing the work of prose. Okay, and then we we'll move on to poetry. I hope you enjoy, and I hope this analysis and review um, helps you. A lot okay like I said earlier this does not substitute for reading the book you have to you have to read the book for this analysis to make more sense to you all right so the first one we're going to be analyzing this morning is or today the first one we're going to be analyzing today is um, the lion and the jewel okay the African drama the lion and the jewel. Let's start off with who wrote this book. So this book was written by Wale Shoyinka, Professor Wale Shoyinka. Um, let's let's look at let's talk about him a little for a while. Um, this is called about the playwright. You cannot you cannot just um, it is not um, very very okay to pick a work of um, literature and not know um, a little or a, a considerable amount of. Um, information about who wrote the book, all right? Um, part of analyzing a work of literature is knowing who wrote it, okay? You can't just pick a book of art and start analyzing. You have to, you know, familiarize yourself with the writer, right? It's going to help you, you know, um, not just in exams, but, you know, to know who is who, okay? Uh -huh. So you don't just know a book and not know who wrote it. It kind of sounds awkward. If it doesn't for you, it does for me. So you have to know a book and then know the author. So let's look at the author of of um, Lion, the Lion and the Jewel. Wale was born in 1934. His first 11 years were spent in Abiokuta, Ogun State, where he received his earliest education. For his secondary school learning, he attended Government College Ibadan, while his tertiary education took him to the University of Ibadan and Leeds University in England. All right. He has published about um, four autobiographical works. Um, the Man Died, 1972. Ake. I don't know. My Yoruba is not so good, but I don't know whether it's Ake or Ake. Ake, Ake 1982. Um, Isara, 1989. And Ibado, 1994. All right. Um, Wale Shonika also won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1986. He's the first African to merit such a prize. He was actually the first African to win um, the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1986. Now, um, we're not just giving you this, um, um, you know, statements or this about the playwright. We're not just telling you about the playwright just so you know. Some of th sometimes um, in exams, they bring out this stuff, right? Um, and you have to, if you don't know it, then um, you would have lost a point or marks as the case may be so you have to really pay attention and you know even if it doesn't come out in exam no knowledge is a waste like they say okay so the first is it's actually the first african to merit such a prize he was so particularly he was particularly recognized for his plays which in fact have become his most bounteous harvest of over 30 dramatic texts including the lion and the jewel which was first published 
1963. So this book is this book we are treating is a very old book, but it seems to um, still be relevant up to, to up to this day, right? It was actually Land and Jewel was actually first published in 1963, and this is just one of many of his you know dramatic texts. All right. Um, we're going to put a pause to this um, video, and in the next class, we're going to go fully. Um, we're going to start off with the plots of Lion and the Jewel, right? So it's going to be uh, basically like a summary. Um, if you if you were with us when we talked about um, um, the the how, how do we put it? Now? Yeah, features of a prose, right? You remember we talked about plots, how that plot is the sequential arrangement of events, right? But we're going to talk about this plot. Of course, this plot will not be very very comprehensive, which is why. I will keep saying till um, the end of this video, and as much as I have to, that you have to. This analysis is not a substitute for reading the book. You have to read the book for this analysis to make sense to you. Okay? So I'll see you in the next class where we'll talk about, we'll go fully into the plots of Lion and the Jewel. I'll see you in the next class. Mm -hmm.